Welcome. Welcome to this talk on the gold crackdown. And in this second part, let us discuss specifically on its concrete step spillway. The gold crackdown is located in Eastern Australia, in the western part of the city of Brisbane, state capital of Queensland. The gold Creek dam was completed in 1885 with a catchment area of 10 square kilometers and the dam today remain untouched. It was built for the water supply of the city of Brisbane directly until 1928 via the Enugara Reservoir from 1928 to 1991 and nowadays is used an emergency water supply. This photograph illustrates the embankment dam, the reservoir, the intact tower, and the step spillway seen on the top right. The original 1885 spillway of the Gold Creek Dam was an uncontrolled, unlined rock chute without stealing basin. The spillway crest was widened in 1887, and in early 1890, the unlined rock chute was damaged very significantly, which led to the construction of the concrete step chute. The spillway crest invert was lowered a number of times on both the crest widening and the crest lowerings, highlighted the insufficient discharge capacity of the original design, while the damage to the spillway in 1890 was a major incident. The 1890 step spillway was built with 12 steps compared to the original drawings with 19 steps, each step being 1.5 meter high, 4 meter long. They were made of non-reinforced concrete with the concrete aggregates coming from the original spillway rock material. And because of the scarcity in cement at the time, nearly all the cement resources of Queensland had to be used for the Gold Creek Dam Spillway in 1890. One would note also the absence of a downstream energy dissipator or stilling basin. The 1890 Gold Creek Dam Spillway is the world's first concrete step spillway and basically the ancestor of modern step spillway, including RCC Dam Step Spillway. Key feature of the Gold Creek Dam Step Spillway is a series of non-reinforced concrete steps which have very successively operated despite a successive increase in discharge capacity and have shown a proven track record despite the absence of a downstream energy dissipator. This can be placed into the context of the historical development of step spillways dating back from more than 3,000 years to a point whereby at the end of the 19th century, nearly one third of dam spillways had a staircase or step profile. The introduction of the standard hydraulic jam ceiling basin in the early 20th century led to a massive decline in the interest on step spillways until the introduction of new construction material in the 1980s and 1990s, including roller compacted concrete on modern cabins. Historically, step spillways were developed or appear around the Mediterranean area and in the Middle East, in particular in the Roman Empire, with the work of the Roman engineers influencing in turn the Muslim engineers, which in turn influenced Spanish engineers and Mughal engineers, which led to the construction of step cascades on spillways in Europe, Americas, and India. These two photographs illustrate older dams, both of which were equipped with a step spillway made of masonry stones. In contrast 
the 1890 gold crystal appear significantly more modern and indeed is the precursor of modern concrete step spillways. Example of modern concrete step spillways shown here with two RCC diamond step spillways in Portugal and in Jordan on the development, on the hydraulic design of this modern step spillway is discussed in this IHR monograph, Energy Dissipation in Hydraulic Structures, featuring the Gold Creek Dam spillway on its front cover. Today, in 2023, the Gold Creek Dam is equipped with a 60 meter long, 55 meter wide broad crest. With the 1890 step chute, made of non-reinforced concrete, and still continue to operate without a downstream stealing basin. In summary, the Gold Creek Dam step spillway was the world's first concrete step spillway and have shown a superb operational record for over 133 years. It is truly a heritage hydraulic structure, precursor of modern step spillway design. Some acknowledgement, relevant bibliography. Thank you very much.